folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Trying to do an update for Yellowstone. Uh, yesterday I did do, oh, a minute or two of it. The camera went down and today it's going down and keeps lagging. You can see here in the center how it's trying to load. Yep, all the money that we have to send to other countries. And we can't even keep the web camera for Yellowstone. The largest super volcano in the world up and running. Then, of course, there's a lot of earthquakes that they don't report. They don't report on the weekends. I Oh, there it goes. It just started going again, but you can see it's lagging. Oh, it stopped again. Anyways, with all the birth pains going on around the world, yeah, you think they would keep an eye on this, especially with all the volcanic eruptions and threat of eruptions and earthquakes around the world. I I don't know. They get paid to do what? Yeah, I don't know. Go to meetings and rub each other's backs and who knows. USGS is only reporting two earthquakes within the last 24 hours, but there was one more recently. Um, we got a 0 0.6 down there, probably yeah, close to um, Heart Lake in that location. And then a 0 0.4 up there in the, uh, um, it says Mammoth, Wyoming. But it looks like, let me check. All right, there's the location. Uh, maybe Grizzly Creek. I don't know. Yeah, Grizzly Lake. Yeah, this fault zone that I've talked about. There's been a lot of earthquakes in that location. This is probably the largest of the most recent earthquakes. They're not reporting it. I even went on EMSC to see where it possibly could be because it's a magnitude uh, 3.4 or 3.7. Maybe as high as a magnitude 3.49. Yeah, it was deep. Yeah, we got magma on the move. Wherever it was at, yeah, it stirred up the caldera. These are harmonic tremors. And it lasted a long time. Let's see. Oh, maybe close to 40 seconds. This was at 5.35 a.m. Central Daylight Time. 10.49 Universal Time. Well, there was a earthquake at 10.38 in Bolivia. A 5.7. And then uh, Western Turkey, a 1.0. But that's all they got listed. I don't know if um, the earthquake in Bolivia, which was, it was deep. It was really deep. Um, possibly showed up there at Yellowstone and made the caldera slosh around. All that magma. Yep, birth pains. People don't realize that to heat the water and to melt the rock that's under the ground, there's melted pockets of melted rock only 600 feet under where everyone is walking that's not heated by magic or rock melted by magic but that is because of the magma that is rising up in the system yeah 600 feet in some areas I, I you know the madison river area definitely anyways this earthquake shows up on three different monitors let's go to the seismic signature for all these there's no p wave on there um, this one's got a small P wave. This is here is Maple Creek. This here is Holmes Hill. And on the far right, that is West Thumb of Yellowstone Lake. At 10.02 Central Daylight Time, yeah, we got another earthquake. It shows up on the different monitors. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Torlinos, look at that. Screw waves. Yeah, it too shows up on all three monitors. Kind of looks like there might be a long, a barely, very long P wave on it. Again, nothing being reported for the Yellowstone area or globally. We did have a 3.9 at uh, 1551 Universal. And then Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland's been having more earthquakes lately. That was all started um yeah many years ago um from fracking when they realized that um, pumping the water the wastewater into the ground 
uh, to extract oil, they stopped it. But the damage has already been done, and they've been continuously having earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, 0 0.8. Anyways, wherever that occurred, yeah, they're not reporting it. So here's the beginning of the seismic signature, and I'll... Oops, I went off the line. Sorry about that. It could very well be two earthquakes, or this could be the uh, P wave of the earthquake. But once again, yeah, it wherever it was at, yeah, it sloshed up the caldera there. Yeah. I hate it when they don't report them. But if I divide it up into two, just the second one here, that comes up as a magnitude 2.50. Yeah, let me show you the signature again. Yeah, I started it right there where the uh, Toilinos are located. Yeah. I did not, oops, I did not put in the first part. If I did, it's probably quite large. It would then be a magnitude 2.91. Remember when they started saying that if they ever started getting magnitude 2s earthquakes there at Yellowstone Lake, they would be very concerned. Yeah. Um, this is what it was showing yesterday when the camera went down. We had multiple, multiple earthquakes. And I was watching. It was really steamy. Let me show you that. All right. There it is. Yeah, look how steamy that is. Now, granted, it was really cold, but there was a lot of earthquakes during that time. And down here at the Firehole River, let me bring this down. Yeah, there was actually two spots um, where heated water was coming up. Yeah, let me bring this over for you so you can see. Um, but this is what it was showing yesterday all the way up until, yeah, the camera stopped working. I would not be surprised if there's going to be another hydrothermal eruption um i don't know if i have that location oh up over here in this area yeah um i believe that is giantness and yeah, move the camera but these uh hot poles over here have been really i would say extra steamy and then over here yeah look at that and then, yeah, it was really active yesterday. And, oh, surprise, surprise, pigs fly. Conveniently, the, the camera stopped working. And it's only working off and on today. Like I said, we got all this money to send out to all these other countries. But we don't have it to keep our own infrastructure up and running. And a simple thing as a live webcam. Yeah. So at 1231 yesterday, there was an earthquake. You can see here they're not reporting it. Nothing reported. Yeah, it was fairly shallow. Here at Maple Creek, it's got a small P wave on it. And this is fault movement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then there was another one. Let me make that bigger shortly after. Well, 1231, or excuse me, um... 1031 that would have been at um, 5 31 a.m. Central Daylight Time then afterwards there was another one and it went small okay we'll make it bigger right there at um, 1033 so that would have been 533 Central Daylight Time yeah about the same depth and well let's Let's see how large that was. That might be as large as a magnitude 2.5. It could be a little bit smaller. Then we got two more right there. Those are also shallow. Um, 1304, 802 AM Central Daylight Time. That's actually two earthquakes. Yeah, pop, pop right in a row. That comes in as a magnitude 1.34. Okay, putting them, you know, together. Then the next one at 14.35, that would have been at 9.35 a.m. 
Central Daylight Time. And yeah, about the same depth. Look at that. That comes in at at least a 1.97. All right, 1727 Universal Time, 1227 p.m. Central Daylight Time. It actually looks like, let's take a look. Yeah, it's it's probably something globally. Let me check. Yeah, I'm looking for 1727 or right around that time. Again, whatever it was is not being reported. Yeah. We got 1724, the Philippines, a magnitude 3.3. And now, again, this is yesterday, you know, the 4th. And then we got Puerto Rico for a 2.2. Yeah, Chile at 2.9. I don't see anything. Then again, maybe it was two earthquakes there that were back-to-back. -back. If that, in fact, is the case, it would have been a magnitude for the first part a 1.62 and then the second half a 1.80 but if we put them all together that would have been at least a magnitude 2.22 again not being reported and then you can see some smaller ones now this this 2.22 again it was yesterday and down over here on the right you can see how it goes into today. Uh, let's bring this over. Again, this is Maple Creek. And I want to show you West Thumb because West Thumb was doing a lot of screaming. Yeah, yesterday. This was at 6.24 p.m. last night. And it probably went on for, oh, how long? Let's say 23.55. And it started at uh, 23.54. So, yeah, it was screaming for about a minute. Yeah, let me pull this over so you can see it. And the screaming is when a volcano's magma is rising up so fast that the equipment can't pick up the sound. Yeah, so it just kind of goes blank. Let me go back to here. Okay. And that was yesterday, like I said, um, 6.55 it ended. Then we got some more screaming. Two bursts right here at 7.22 p.m. last night. Yeah. See that? Now, again, this is West Thumb at Yellowstone Lake. This is where back in 2011 they did their scenario of a, a large earthquake or a series of earthquakes and a hydrothermal eruption with a tsunami so there's that other earthquake right there that i talked about and this is what it's recently been showing right there yeah a lot of heated water coming up from the different vents yeah Let's go to the seismic signature. Torlinos, not good. Yeah, magma on the move. Yeah. For those that might be new, I'll give you a link to this page. It's on Wikipedia. A Torlino event is a low frequency seismic event associated with volcanoes. The term, which means screw in Spanish, was coined in the mid 1990s. At the Observatory of Volcanoes, um, Colombia. I've shared this page before. Um, here it says Torlinos are long period volcanic earthquakes. Each Torlino lasts for several minutes and the amplitude decreases, producing a screw like pattern on the seismograph. Long period seismic events are caused by the pressurized fluid movement close to the surface. Torlinos are an indicator of in, of impending eruptions. And he talks about redoubt. Now, redoubt, you might want to look that up. That's where they first discovered that um, volcanoes sometimes scream before an eruption. And it goes into the uh, volcano Galeras, 1993, when nine people were killed. Um, it was preceded by 
Torlino earthquakes. Torlino earthquakes were observed before the scientists entered the active caldera, um, but were ignored. Yeah, Yellowstone's um, 35 miles um, wide by 55 miles long. So if and when it has another major eruption, that's going to be one heck of a boom. Even if it's a small eruption, they figured it'd be about the size of Mount St. Helens for a smaller eruption, or more than likely, larger. Yeah, I wish the live web camera was working for you today. There, we got some more. See how they, yeah, kind of peter out, and then we'll go to the next one. Yeah, and this is what it was showing just a little while ago, maybe a half an hour ago, because it takes me a while to put all the information together. It's going small here. Um, put it all together, and yeah, it's going small. Yeah, but that's what West Yellowstone is showing. Yeah, where they did the scenario for, uh, yeah, a tsunami. <laughs> Anyways. Well, it looks like the camera moved to Old Faithful, but yeah, you can see the little turning wheel. It's not working. Yep, send more money to other countries. Yeah, and um, give free money for down payments. For people in California to buy their first homes that are illegally here. But the hell with the citizens of the United States. Sorry for the bad word. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments, please put it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.